What little one? Samu is coming over to stay for some reason. No, you did not bring your toddler with you. You did, didn't you? No, there's another toddler. Why? Why do you have so many kids, Asamu? There's two toddlers now. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. Challenge in The Sims 4, where we're trying to get 100 babies and race against an NPC family, the Munch family. They still have just six children, but we're also trying to get through zero sparks of death. We need to complete the first level of this aspiration for Una. She is almost there. She just has to fertilize some plants and graft onto three plants. And we're actually trying to get more of her aspiration done due to the fact that we have to get 12,000 satisfaction points. I don't know, maybe I'll allow her to get a different aspiration after this one is done. We're also completing quests. And the quest for today is going to be get gold on a date. Now, since Una needs to have the single and loving it lifestyle. I think we will have to go on a date with Lilith. Okay, Paris is going to join the drama club. She has to max out her level in the drama club before she can become a young adult. Hello, Frederick Ito. Are you single? And maybe we should scan you for traits. Oh, he's married. Okay, well, that's not good. We need someone who's single. Oh, why is everyone married? Oh, Valentino is single. Do you like women? I guess Lilith counts as female. Okay, he does. Okay, who else is in my conversation? It still looks like there's more than one person. No, 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 hang out with me. Okay, why are you autonomously having a flirt with this person now? Okay, can we have a date? I think we'll have to go somewhere else though because it seems like this area might be too busy. Well, I guess we could try it anyway. Here's our first kiss. Aw, how sweet. Kiss the robot. Oh, he likes to joke. Okay, I cannot kiss my date passionately for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, the butler is repairing me. I did not know butlers could do that. But could you stop? I'm trying to talk to my date here. Why are you doing that? Okay, we can have deep conversations. I think the only thing I'm not going to be able to do is kiss passionately for some reason. What? And I can't have deep conversations either? Okay, maybe because we're not good enough friends? There we go. Okay, there's a gold date. Let's call this done. All right, now I know he's going to ask to be my boyfriend later, but that's okay. Um, Lilith doesn't have to worry about staying single. Now we should probably teach Paris how to have more conflict resolution. So teach to say sorry, I think. Why do you keep repairing me? I don't need it. I can do it myself and it interrupts what I'm doing. Stop that. Can I tell her not to fix things? Although that's kind of annoying because I do want her to fix objects that break. I just don't want her to repair me. I don't need it. Stop it. She won't stop. I don't know why. All right, conflict resolution is going up. I think I might have to get an enemy for Lilith too so that I can fix a bad relationship with her because it seems like this is going to take a long time to get up into range. Okay, now she needs level 10 gardening skill, grow a cow plant and evolve 10 excellent plants. That will be a long time. But we do have enough for our first reward trait. So we're going to get seldom sleepy first because I think that's the most useful one. And now all we have to do is purchase professional slacker and super green thumb. We also have to achieve the single and loving it lifestyle. And then we can actually move Una out. Not that it really matters since Paris can't have kids yet. <laughs> She's repairing me while I'm out here. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. I'm going to have to fire this butler because I was not even a little bit low on durability. And it's after midnight. We didn't sell the frog, but we get to spin the winning wheel with 11,669 simoleons. We get 46%, which is another 5,368 simoleons for a total of 17,037 simoleons. Now, our next quest is randomize lot traits. 
Okay, so basically everything that I was able to choose from the beginning is now gone. I don't have zero sparks, and now I don't even have the lot challenges. Oh no, it says randomized lot traits. Okay, so this is not actually the challenges, this is just the traits. All right, so that's good. That's easy to do. We just have to come in here and hit the randomizer button. Um, there is no randomizer button. Okay, I will have to make my own. Okay, uh, actually there is a randomizer button for the lot traits. I couldn't see it up here, so I thought there wasn't one. Here we go. We have gnomes, child's play, and home studio. Um, okay, that wasn't really too much different than what we had before. So I guess we can spend today focusing on getting the skills and probably following some wants for Una because this is just ridiculous. 600 satisfaction points and I need another 8,000. Oh, the frog sold. Maybe we can get good friends with the pets because that actually helps. Why are you up? Did someone wake you up? Go back to bed. Yes, you woke her up, Loki. Don't wake up. No, we're not going to work. We're actually going to skip work today. Okay, your conflict resolution is pretty good, but you need to go to school now. Come on, are you done teaching to say sorry? Normally this doesn't last this long, I think, because she gets too bored. Now she's going to be really late to school. All right, well, maybe if she works hard, she will get an A, and her conflict resolution is so close to being in range, and then she will be able to be a teenager. Hey, Lilith, it's me, Valentino. Do you want to go out on a date? Um, one of the retail lots? Sure, why not? Not much room for Activit. Okay, you didn't have enough room for the Y. <laughs> okay, a retail lot is kind of a stupid place to go on a date, but hey, I guess I can't be choosers and we'll need to bring Una here and the dogs too. What do you want to do? Dance to stereo music and plant something. Well, we have stuff to plant. Even though this is not our lot, we can still plant something. How about we leave a nice flower over here? One of these worthless bluebells. Um, can't put that over here. Uh, where can I put this? Okay, I can't select it to plant it or to even pick it up. All right, that's a bug. All right, well, since we can't plant anything, maybe we'll just be friendly with the dogs because you can actually get a lot of points by being companions with a dog. Where are you going, Loki? Come back here. Can I feel the love yet? No. Okay, let's try going for a jog then. Right, we acquired the fitness skill. Okay. Oh, no, Lilith, it's raining. Go inside. Oh, okay, you have an umbrella. I guess that's okay. But we're going home after this date is over. Nine minutes. Oh, and Paris's grades are up. But I think she also has to go to drama class, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Act like a barnyard animal. The drama club teacher always has a crazy idea up their sleeve, and today is no different. The teacher wants everyone to act like a barnyard animal. Should Paris act like a cow or a tiger? Okay, so a tiger is not a barnyard animal, and whenever you go against the teacher's wishes, you have a chance of getting kicked out of drama club, but you also gain fame. Rawr! Paris went out on a limb and invoked the spirit of a tiger. The teacher is not happy with the performance, but the club members loved it, especially when Paris tried to eat the teacher. Paris gains fame from her stellar performance, and really, she doesn't even gain that much fame. I've done this before and it seems like your fame is not really affected at all. And you stand a chance of getting kicked out of the class. So maybe I should take the safe route and not bother trying to go against the teacher's wishes. Oh, Valentino thinks Lila is swell and wants to become best friends. Okay, so not boyfriend yet. And Paris was promoted to line learner. I think she gets promoted each time because her creativity skill is already max. Okay, now Valentino wants to be Lilith's girlfriend. Okay, okay, you can be girlfriend. Now Lilith is no longer single and loving it. Oh, Paris, conflicts resolution is in the range to earn the mediator trait. Okay, I think that's all we need to make her a teen. And if we also have her apologize after being mean, I think that also helps. Yeah, her conflict resolution is super high now. 
Now we do need to get her dramatics up, but I think hmm, we might need to wait to age her up because it says increase creativity skill to four to become a practical performer. If you age her up to teen, she has to use the acting skill, which means she'll have to start over, which I think she might have to start over anyway. We'll just give her one more day as a child. Okay, it's the end of Monday and we get to spin the winning wheel and we get a whopping 12%. But we have a lot of simoleons, so 51,024 will be 6,123 extra simoleons for a total of 57,147 simoleons. Not too bad. So the quest goal for today is to win a game of Sabak again. All right. So Paris has gone off to school and Una is going to stay home. She's still working on her aspiration and getting some satisfaction points. So I'm trying to make friends with Loki. I think maybe we'll try to have Lilith win the game of Sabak. And today is also Tricky Tuesday. We are getting really dumb things. Okay, I just checked neighborhood stories and Billy Munch and the 100 Baby Munch household has died. Billy tried fixing the toilet and it randomly burst into flames. I guess Wolfgang needs to find a new wife then. Okay, let's try to meet Serena. For some reason, there's a lot of ghosts wandering around. I think it's because it's Halloween or Tricky Tuesday, but... It's kind of strange. I'm not sure if all of these ghosts are actually dead or if the game just made them ghosts for this event. Maybe we can ask her to hang out. Can I not play with a ghost or maybe I'm just not close enough? No, I cannot play with a ghost. Okay. Oh, I can play with the maid. I didn't know who that was. It's the maid. I don't even know him. And for some reason, I can play Sabak. Okay. Did I win? Oh, actually, we won. Oh, no, it says calculated move from playing Sabak. Lilith has been waiting for a moment like this to make their big move. Now is their chance. I didn't see that she won, though. Okay, he won that time. So I guess we're not doing very well. Okay, I think we're just going to play normally because for some reason the other two aren't working and I think it's because I don't actually have any logic skill or I'm not confident. So both of those strategies don't make sense at this time. We'll just try normal. I've called to inform you that your great, great second once removed cousin, friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Okay, so Lilith the robot could get married. We might be able to do that. Uh, she would not be able to live with her husband. I don't know. Should we do it? Sure, we'll try it. She keeps losing. I think we're going to have to get confident first or maybe get some logic skill. Only thing is now she's going to be tense and playing Sabak and this is not going to go well. All right. Yeah, as I suspected, that's not going to go well. Let's just stop. Can we stop, please? Okay, robots cannot brush teeth. I kind of expected that. Maybe we can psych ourselves up and then get confident. All right, technically the maid left, but maybe I can ask him back over. Actually, let's invite Valentino over. Uh, however, he is evil. And Paris is home. She needs to have some fun, though. Uh, now I'm tense again. Oh, she went to drama club. Whoops. She's still tense. Okay, maybe I can play confidently now. Ugh. He still won. Okay, maybe the next hand I can actually win. This is ridiculous. It seems like everyone is luckier and better at Sabak than me, yet they have probably not any skill, just like I don't have any skill. I think the game is rigged so that whoever you're playing against is almost always going to win. Inspired by a new relationship, the teacher wants everyone to sing a solo love song in drama club today. Paris knows that a song involving the group would be more impactful and dramatic. Should Paris sing a solo or a group long song? We'll, we'll go with the solo one because we don't want to be kicked out of drama club. Okay, I think she... Did she win? No, it didn't look like she won. Okay, again? I thought that you could win if you played confidently and actually were confident. Great, and my confidence is going away. Maybe if I cheat. <laughs> um, I don't think that he would appreciate it, though, and I don't want to ruin our relationship. 
Right, now I'm tense again. Oh, Lilith wants to get to engaged Valentino? Okay, after winning all of my credits, or whatever, I guess we can get engaged. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop this. She's not winning. So Lilith is going to propose to Valentino. Let's see if this works. I, it's kind of weird that she's a robot and getting married. Aw, how sweet. Okay, let's get married right away just so we can get the credits. And then we have to win at Sabak. And Lilith is getting married. She's going to be a robot with a husband. Okay. Her durability is suffering. The butler had better not come over here and interrupt the ceremony in order to repair. I think that she's trying. And we got 13,000. Yeah, we're not going to move in yet. Okay, he has to leave, and Lilith should probably repair herself. Yeah, she's going to self-repair anyway. I think I'm going to actually have you help Paris with her project, though, because she did have one school project. Oh, come on. The butler is repairing me. I hate it when she does this. It's like it interrupts whatever else I want to do. All right, well, I will assist with the project whenever I can. All right, and we need to finish the holiday for Una. Let's see, wear costumes. Maybe she can do that pretty easily. Sure, we'll be a fairy of the forest. Ooh, Princess Golden Apple, Princess Papaya, Princess Blueberry. Okay, I added a whole bunch of more costumes on here. Um, not sure. Oh, let's do a green pumpkin and we'll help you with your project. The holiday is completed for Una. We don't have to do anything else for her. All right, let's quit chatting and change our costume and have Lilith help too. All right, the only thing we have to do is finish the holiday for Paris. I wonder how we can finish it. Yeah, these stupid trick-or-treaters keep coming in and there's unfortunately nothing that I can do to interact with them to complete that tradition. It's annoying. I can leave a sugar skull offering for Zero's urn. Oh, she's actually having fun. Maybe she's joking. Did you get promoted? No, why did you not get promoted? You have the check mark. Do we also need to get the performance all the way up? Oh, that is so annoying. All right, well, you did finish one school project. It says increase creativity skill to level four to become a practical performer. I already have done that. Well, I guess we're just gonna age her up to a teen and hope that works out. Oh, I'm not sure if it will, because Drama Club is sometimes bugged. I can't get them to advance in it every once in a while. Yeah, she's not happy she got married. She's just fine because she has the single and loving it lifestyle. Oh, well, sure. Eat cake. I don't care. Where did all the ghosts go? Now it's nothing but trick-or-treaters. Okay, there's a ghost. Uh, breaks curfew, but I don't care. Oh, Megumi. She's over here. Okay. She's probably really good, though, because last time she kept beating me. All right, let's play confidently and see if we can get a last second win. No, she's still beating me, isn't she? Yes, she's still beating me. Why is it so hard to win at this game? You could never do a rags to riches playing Sabak. I mean, maybe if, you're, if your logic skill was up higher, maybe that's why I'm not winning, because I have no logic skill. Oh, did she lose? Oh, did I actually win for once? Yes, I won one single hand at 11.59. And we get to spin the winning wheel and we get five whole percent. Well, we have a lot of simoleons, so that will probably be a lot anyway. 3,415 simoleons. And of course, UI cheats is broken. So I'll have to manually calculate this. So we have now 71,724 simoleons. And our next quest is to go all day preventing your sims from using any sort of toilet or bush. Bladder failures only. Well, that won't be a problem for Lilith. It might, however, make Una and Paris very uncomfortable. So that'll be great. Okay, we should go ahead and send her home. And then make the butler go to sleep. Why are you at the pool? Uh, why are you repairing me? I don't need it. The durability is almost full and I told you to go to sleep. This butler is super annoying. Go to sleep, Lilith. Oh, that's right. We were going to age Paris up. I forgot. Happy birthday, Paris. 
Let's see what your next trait is. Okay, and see, this is the heir or the next mother. So we are going to be proper. Oh, that's actually really, really good because they have a much easier time with friendly and romantic socials. And of random aspiration, we get werewolf. Great. This is going to be fun. Hmm, I'm not sure if we will keep the short hair, maybe, because it is curly. Just a quick makeover for her, though. So I normally don't go over every single sim in detail when doing the 100 Baby Challenge, but for the mothers, sure. So this is Paris's new look, and I went with the short haircut. I don't often do short ones, but this one was kind of cute on her. So I left it, and she likes green, but she hates black now. So that was a little bit of a challenge, because as you know, black is like a standard staple in almost all these clothes. So we picked stuff that was kind of flirty, but a little bit cash or a little bit comfortable, especially for her everyday look. And then here's her athletic, her sleepwear. Her party look is a little bit out there, but I kind of like it. Then her swimwear is nothing special, hot weather look, and her cold weather look. As far as her likes and dislikes, she still likes green and she likes easy listening, country fashion, French country decor, spirited sims, small talk, and pranks. She dislikes singer-songwriter music, Baroque music, black, photography, and writing. So she has no skills that she really enjoys and she's going to be a werewolf. I have to finish this aspiration and even to age her up to young adult, I have to do the first level, which involves turning her into a werewolf. Okay, she doesn't have class because she just aged up. So I'm going to send her back to bed. Oh, and it's Harvest Fest today. It's Samu. Hey, sweetie, we're coming over to see the little one and help out however we can. What little one? Um, okay, this is really strange. Maybe because Paris aged up and for some reason it's now registering that she was born since Una and Paris were twins. I really don't know what this is about. But apparently, Samu is coming over to stay for some reason. Sure, I guess you can stay. I don't know where, but maybe you brought a sleeping bag. Oh, Isamu is married. Okay, so he brought his wife over as well. Okay, I really have no place for you guys to stay, and we still have the Halloween decorations up. Well, one thing is for sure, I must make sure to get all of my plants harvested before anybody else steals them. <gasps> no. You did not bring your toddler with you. You did, didn't you? Why? Why did you bring the toddler? Well, that's gonna suck. They also have a child. Okay, how many people are in your family, Asamu? Apparently you have four at least, and I have to make room somewhere. I don't know where you're going to sleep, but I actually, I don't think it matters. For some reason, stayover guests never seem to sleep. And maybe if I make popcorn over here, the toddler will just be able to grab it and won't have a problem. Although I, I think I have a high chair. Well, I did have a high chair up here. Uh, maybe I should put the high chair back just in case they can't feed the toddler for whatever reason. No, there's another toddler. Why? Why do you have so many kids, Asamu? There's two toddlers now. How many people do you have? Oh, why can't you apply facial cleanser? Is somebody else going to the sink? No, you can't use the toilet. Maybe if I just get water and have her pee her pants, that would be easier. Okay, there you go. Now you're going to pee your pants and then you can go take a shower. Oh no, all the gnomes. I completely forgot we had so many gnomes. Uh, I wonder if we got a couple more. No, 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 don't, don't use the potty. Don't use the potty. Get water. Get water. That was close. Um... Okay, Lilith and Mariko are having a little bit of a flirtation. We don't have free love, do we? Oh, we do have free love. Okay, well, that explains that. Oh, we got a bunch of toys. I really don't have a toy box. 
Okay, I think they trapped Paris in here. I don't think she can move for whatever reason. Um, she has too many suitcases around here. Okay, well, we'll fix that. Upstairs, we have a couple of bunk beds. So we have two for the parents and one for the child and two toddler beds, even though they can also use the tent if they want, but they will never sleep. This is what happens with stayover guests is that for some reason they never get tired and it is super annoying. Okay, both of them have completed the holiday now. All right, Paris is also going to be a junk food feed. So she needs to eat lots of cake and quick meals. Okay, Isamu and Lilith are having a romantic relationship now. I really don't care much for the free love action plan, but it also avoids anyone getting upset over the random flirt. For some reason, she still has to go to drama club, even though she has a vacation. Create cowboy costumes. Cowboy costumes are needed for the show on Friday. The teacher wants classic cowboy attire from their favorite cowboy movie, but Paris wants to add a fantasy twist to them. Should Paris create the costumes in a classic or fantasy style? Well, last time we picked the safe option and we didn't get promoted. So maybe you have to pick the risky option to get promoted. The teacher is not happy with the costumes, but there is no time to make new ones. The show goes on and costumes are, are a hit with the audience. Students are asking Paris to make costumes for the homecoming parade. Paris gains fame. Okay, well, maybe she'll work hard and she'll get promoted. Yeah, it looks like there's a check mark this time. She better get promoted. Oh, she was promoted. She got promoted to level four. Okay, so there was some kind of glitch. And I'm not sure if that is the top of the career. It looks like it actually is. So she still has to stay in the career while she's a teenager, but that does clear that requirement. Oh, they're actually going to bed. That's surprising. For some reason, the toddlers are not going to bed though. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel. And if their parents aren't going to put the toddlers to bed, then I guess I will put them to bed. Well, we went all day without using the toilet, so now we get to spin the winning wheel, and we get 51%. 51% of 71,233 simoleons is 36,329 simoleons, for a total of 107,562 simoleons. Okay, why won't you put her to bed now? All right, let's try a different strategy. I will take the toddler upstairs first. And Harvest Fest was also successful, so I wonder what we have to do for the next one. Have a dinner party with at least five werewolves and three vampires. Two times if you get gold. Great. Well, we need to turn Paris into a werewolf anyway, so I suppose we'll go ahead and do that. And she just won't put her in that bed for whatever reason. Should we go to school? Um, I guess so. I walked right by the principal, but luckily she was yelling at another student, so I didn't get detention. Oh, now she wants to skip class. Okay, we can do that. All right, I thought the principal was a female, but no, it's Jacob Volkov. Why are you the principal? I can understand that May is probably dead because she it was close to being an elder when the game started, but why is he the principal? He's a werewolf. Also, we are about to get caught, I think, um, unless I can get out of here somehow. Maybe if I go hide in the bathroom. Okay, he's not coming this way anymore. Good. Why did you just get up out of class? I hate when they do that. I think I'm going to have to not attend high school most of the time because they just don't get very much performance. And a lot of times they'll just get up out of class and get detention for no reason. All right, now Paris needs to go to drama class. So I guess we'll go home with the others and it'll be easier if she goes from there because I think it's just too far when she's at the school. Since Paris has already reached the top of the drama career, we're going to quit that job so that we can do our other tasks. The bar in Moonwood Mill is the best place to meet occults. So here we are, and the bartender is always a werewolf. All right, so we have Eloise Pritchard and also Colton Mullen. 
both of those are werewolves and I might be able to just go over to a werewolf house and get the other three that I need. So let's find some vampires. Actually, now that I think about it, it's like the middle of the day, so I don't think there will be any vampires here. We might just have to go to a house in Forgotten Hollow. All right, there's Rory. I know that she's a werewolf because she's one of the pack leaders, and it would actually be good to get someone who knows how to turn someone into a werewolf. And Lou is also a werewolf, even though he's an elder. Lilith, how are you able to order a drink? You can't drink it. It says not for robots. Wait, Valentino? Okay, Valentino lives with the master vampire. I didn't realize that Valentino was the master vampire's son. He's actually not a vampire though, I believe because his father was human. So he is a regular sim but he lives with the master vampire well Lilith, you sure know how to pick him and he's also evil mariko wants to take things to the next level will Lilith be her girlfriend um you're married and Lilith is married i'm going to say no why is that happening this is going to take too long to meet everyone because I had to go to school. We already know Lilith. I did not know that. Okay, so I don't have to introduce myself to Lilith. All right, let's quickly go home and have the dinner party. Why, hello, Kristoff. I know that if I make him my friend, he will actually give me the cursed bite. Okay, the robot can call to meal, but she can't really eat or drink. So that is really weird. No, Paris, you don't have that. You are going to be a junk food fiend. Okay, having Sims become playful is actually pretty easy. I have this little thing in here that makes everybody playful. So I'll just put it out in the main room and that should take care of that. Okay, why can't I tell a joke? It just won't let me. All right, there we go. All right, having Sims drink at the same time, that's going to be really hard. I don't think we're going to get gold. All right, I made a group and you can go to the bar and make drinks for everyone. And I think they will just come out and get it, hopefully. And I chose a drink that I just have to pour instead of having to actually mix it. Okay, that was easy. Now I actually don't even have to make a dessert because I have gold. Why are you baking a cake? Interesting. Oh, there's Zero. She's angry. Sorry, Zero, you died. I left her urn out because it was Halloween and then I forgot that it was out here. So now we're being haunted by Zero. Ah, finally, ask for a cursed bite. I became a friend of the Moonwood Collective, but only because I couldn't find the option that said ask for a cursed bite. Finally, we have it. Oh, he's gonna make everyone run away. Interesting, okay. Well, we did that without fighting and I didn't wanna do it with through fighting Greg because Paris actually needs to keep good conflict resolution and that would make her conflict resolution go down really fast. All right, so that is a success and we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 1%. And since we got gold, we get a whopping 2%. So that gives us another 2,700 simoleons about for a total of 141,819 simoleons. All right, so the next quest is to get a bowl or fish tank with at least one rare fish that you haven't collected before or add a fish if you have a tank. That'll be fun. We need to go fishing for a cowberry anyway. Oh, I have to watch Paris's hunger. She's turning into a werewolf, so she's going to kind of get very hungry. Oh, and she actually likes acting. I wonder if you turn into a werewolf quicker if you ask for the bite versus getting into a fight. It looks like yes, because for some reason it says insatiable hunger four hours. So she might be becoming a werewolf around the time she needs to go to school. Yeah, class in four hours. That's unfortunate. I think I'm going to send her alone because of that. Yeah, we do not want Paris dying on us before she even becomes a young adult. That would be bad. Okay, go to school, Paris. I know you're very uncomfortable. Hopefully she does okay. I'll make her work hard. And hopefully she doesn't starve at school because her hunger is going down super fast. All right, finally guarding level 10. 
Um, Paris is currently at school. Skipping school will result in bad grades. Should Paris skip school? Um, no, but I know what's happening. She's turning into a werewolf, so they're sending her home. I wanted an A today. Great. I thought that it would keep her from turning into a werewolf, but no. Okay, and her hunger is not good. We need to eat something like now. And I don't know if she's actually going to be able to eat something. No, I can't do anything with her. She's going to starve to death. Well, we might have to use Una for the next hair. <laughs> Who knows? She's going to go around smashing all my stuff, isn't she? All right. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, Paris has four werewolf attributes. And... It She's not supposed to have that. I think she's supposed to just have one. So she's going to gain fury really fast because she has all of those different things that make her gain extra fury. Great. I don't know if that's a new bug or if it's just because she was a cursed fight versus a fight transformation. Well, I guess we need to go fishing. Since Paris's aspiration is werewolf related, she's actually a lone wolf. That means that her method of making money has to be related to her aspiration. So she can scavenge the ground and she can intimidate others for money. No, you can't pick a fight with anyone. You need conflict resolution. I don't think she's actually finding anything. This might be a problem. Finally, I can feel the love. All right, we got a common fish. We need at least one rare fish. And I would like to get a cow plant berry for Una to plant, but we'll see. Oh, we caught a cow plant berry already. I love this fishing spot. Okay, we have an uncommon beta. You didn't drink it. Ugh. Because she's in the open area instead of on a lot, whenever she has a drink or a food item and she doesn't finish it, it immediately disappears instead of being left in the world and she was trying to drink a moodlet solver and people kept trying to talk to her so she quit drinking it and it just disappeared and it's gone now so i'm going to cheat her needs the moodlet solver would have gotten rid of the big sad wolf buff too but oh well okay we got a salmon which is common we keep getting a whole bunch of common and uncommon fish i don't think they can catch rare until their skill is up higher so this might be a lost cause it's already 8 30 p.m Another beta, another salmon. Okay, I got another cow plant berry. Okay, a tuna is a common fish. Um, and it looks like Lila is having problems. And Paris caught a cow plant berry. Okay, I think maybe this one doesn't have any rare fish. It just seems to have rare items, but not fish. Either that or my level is too low to catch them. Well, I guess we have to spin the losing wheel. And we get... 48% ouch what can you not fish when you're tense I guess not so we're going to lose 71,666 simoleons and that leaves us with 77,639 simoleons so still not bad <laughs> Paris caught a violin not helpful Paris apparently the fish tank can only hold six fish and I really only see four four of them all the other ones are, are hidden i guess all right and for the final quest for this week we have to successfully bug a vampire a werewolf and a spellcaster and an alien so there's a listening station that comes with strangerville and this is actually quite an interesting little gameplay thing but it doesn't really do very much i mean it doesn't give you anything for listening in on people oh look who it is it's a vampire planting our first bug is it gonna work okay she didn't notice bye bye oh wait there's a werewolf right there i'm pretty sure lily is a werewolf yeah because you get this disable fury effect so you don't even have to ask if they're a werewolf it basically just tells you now we just have to find a spellcaster and an alien i don't think they ever notice are you a kleptomaniac or a recycled disciple? I think you're a kleptomaniac. My butler just stole my project. I was wondering where my spider went earlier. Okay, you're going to randomly steal from me. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to fire you. Maybe the service will send me another one. But you have to specifically fire them. You can't just dismiss them. Because if you order another butler, they'll send the same one. 
Oh, Gemma, you're a spellcaster. That's easy. Let's plant a bug on you. Yeah, weren't you a friend of my mother, Zero Sparks? Sure. You didn't notice the bug. Okay, and you're rude. Um, that was you, not me. Well, hello, Gianni Richards. I happen to know that you're an alien. Um, yeah, I kind of cheated to figure that out. Uh, but actually, no, he's glowing. So that's how you know that he's an alien, because he's mad and he's glowing. He's probably not going to accept my hug. Oh, he did. And no one else notices either. Huh, that's kind of easy. <laughs> okay, it's too easy to do that. That should have some risk in it of them finding out and getting mad or something. Who should we listen in on first? Let's try Lily. Oh, I acquired the logic skill from that. Okay. Of course I trust you with this information. You're the only friend I have. Una received a basic audio recording. Okay, well, all right. That wasn't too juicy. Gemma says, don't tell anyone, okay? No, not even your cat, okay? That wasn't really interesting. None of them are really interesting. What about the vampire? All of this, of course, is from Strangerville. And, of course, it's supposed to be kind of Strangerville related. But it would be better if it gave you random stuff that wasn't necessarily related to Strangerville. Because what if you bug someone that had nothing to do with whatever was going on in Strangerville and you got some kind of juicy tidbit about someone cheating on someone else? Don't tell anyone, okay? No, not even your cat. Okay, that's the same thing. Last one. Here's the alien. It's not stealing if I really want it, right? They won't miss it anyways. Okay. Oh, it can be used to blackmail the person into giving you a few simoleons? Okay, probably not a whole lot. Let's invite them all over. You did not finish your book. Where did you put the book? I'm trying to get her to read these books and it is so annoying. She won't read them. Oh, the full moon is out. It is. Why isn't she turning? Is it because she's not outside? Okay, Una and Isamu are jokesters now. Okay, let's see what happens if we blackmail Gianni Richards. I don't know if we'll get enough money. 113 simoleons. Okay, and now we'll blackmail Gemma. 135. Okay, not too bad, but not really that great either. The listening station costs over 400 simoleons, and each bug costs 25 simoleons, so I'm not really even going to make my money here. Well, since it's the full moon, Lily would not come over, so we had to go over to her house. Let's see if we can blackmail her. Oh, don't go inside. She's going to go inside. All right, well, we better knock on the door then, because I don't want to be stuck outside. No, 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 don't go inside. She's going inside first and then she's going to go knock on the door. Okay. Now, this is a build that I actually made for one of the James Turner challenges. And that's why it's so weird, but it's based on Batu. So we're just going to blackmail her. I had to build a tree house that was three floors and had five toilets in each bathroom. It was really fun. Okay, so we got some money from that one. Now let's go visit the vampire. For some reason, the vampire lives in San Machino. Okay, that only got $43. Okay, she's poor. Well, Paris is now a runt. And I hope she gets credit for the full moon because for some reason, she's just not turning into a werewolf. If she doesn't get credit, I think I'm going to cheat that because that's unfair. She is in a full moon right now and not getting any fury. Well, that's the end of another week and we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 73% of 88,833 simoleons for another 64,848 simoleons. That gives us a total of 153,681 simoleons. Now, I don't know why Paris is not changing for the full moon, but hopefully she does get credit for that soon. And she's also going to read her last book, if this counts. For some reason, none of the books I've been buying, even though they claim to be werewolf books, they're not counting as a werewolf book. And Una is just working on her satisfaction points. If you become really good friends with the dogs, you can actually get a lot of satisfaction points. 
I'm still not good enough to be a companion with Bubblegum. I'm already a companion with Loki. So I think you can get about 250 satisfaction points a day by feeling the love. I'm not sure if that's daily, but we'll try and figure that out. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.